Welcome to today's video, bonus video. I thought I'd put something out there for Christmas because we're in World Junior time. And as you know, in Canada, that's what we do during Christmas, Boxing Day. We watch the World Juniors. Today, we're going to look at Devin Levy. Devin Levy is an amazing goaltender. He's like a mini Carey Price. And at his stage of development, where does he fit compared to Carey Price? So we're going to show you a bunch of clips today of him in action. And it's again, it's an exhibition game. And I don't know how he's going to respond when he gets into the real games, how he manages the pressure. But I wanted to give you a detailed scouting report on Devin Levy today, the World Junior goaltender for Team Canada. And please subscribe. I don't do this for the money. I do this for the subscribers. I do this to grow the knowledge about goaltending. And I looked at my metrics and half of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So pull the trigger. I'm not going to say like most of the influencers, bang that subscriber button. I'm just going to say caress it and touch it lightly. So subscribe and let's get going. Here's our Christmas video on Devin Levy. Who's Devin Levy and why have we never heard of him before? He was a seventh round pick of the Florida Panthers. He's six feet tall and he plays at Northeastern on a full scholarship. He has lots of challenges. He's a, a six foot tall goalie, which sounds big enough, but at the NHL level, that's actually undersized. He plays a great aggressive game. He's got great technical skills, and we're gonna drill down into those when we look at the clips. But bear in mind, all these goalies that come through the World Juniors have a ton of pressure on them. Many fall flat on their face, many succeed. But what really happens, do these guys take their greatness in the World Juniors when they win gold, silver, bronze, and does it translate into pro career? I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think is going to happen with Devin Levy at this tournament and after the tournament when he's a professional goaltender with the Florida Panthers organization. All right, in this first clip, we've got a shot from high in the slot. Levy just catches it clean. Very precise save. But a couple things that I want you to note on these replays. Number one, pushes into the shot. It's kind of a muffin, but he seals it up nicely in his glove and he's got his feet set. And look at his stance. Nice knee bend, gloves out projected forwards. Excellent technical positioning and save. This clip here, he does some things very well anticipating the play. Turnover, he has the puck basically in control and there's a turnover. Guy ultimately misses the net. There's a couple things to watch here. Once his puck is turned over, he takes two looks to the danger zone. Quick looks off the puck. He sees the guy out front before he gets it. He reads the play with control, precision, holds his edges, isn't sliding around, chasing the play. Got away with one here, but his positioning helped him out. We got a little quick developing two on one with a backdoor play where he makes an amazing save. A couple things go into this. Guy's on the backhand, and he also slides ahead of the post, not into the post. So watch this again. He makes a read, there's a backdoor threat, yet he stays very square to the puck carrier. Once the puck leaves the stick, he executes the slide over, and he's very aware that this guy's on his backhand with his head down, pressure from behind, pressure from the side, and he waits squarely until the pass happens, takes care of the bottom, and explodes over, making a huge save. Here we got a low angle drive, a lot of pressure from behind, man's shielding the puck, takes one hand off his stick to protect, and Levi reads this play correctly by taking care of the bottom. Why the bottom? Because with one hand on his stick and a backdoor threat, he's not shooting, he can only basically scoop it at the net. So he makes a good read, gets a little lucky on the post shot here, but he's very intelligent about understanding a guy with one hand on his stick isn't going to do anything too miraculous to scoop it at the net. Great read. Great discipline, gets away with one off the post. Again, Team Canada letting a few breakaways go in the early stages of this exhibition schedule. And man opens the puck up to his forehand, gets Levi to bite on it, but he's got great secondary skills to stay in the play. And my former teammate Igor Larionov, not a big fan. So we got the breakaway, sticks closed off in front of his body, a lot of backside pressure. Levi plays this like every pro in the NHL, gets a good jump on the inverted Y, gets out of that crease, 
and then he projects his glove down over the puck to make sure on the deke he's got the guy sealed off and gives him nothing. Again with the breakaways. Pressured from behind, Levi gets a great jump out to set the initial angle and waits with great patience. The man pulls the puck to his forehand and just shoots. And basically, if he hits the five hole, he might have had a chance. He ended up going a little bit low to the blocker side. But again, quick developing breakaway and a long pass. He gives him nothing. Good stick discipline, good deep crouch, good gloves projected. The guy's really got nothing. And he gives up by taking a kind of a lame shot on the blocker side low. Here we see a great example of Levi's ability to look around screens, fight and battle for line of sight on the puck. This is going to be a huge skill he's going to need to master if he's going to play in the NHL at his height. If he thinks the traffic's crazy here, look at Short side look always on a board puck. Find the puck. Look short side. And then he quickly jumps his head around the screen to the inside angle and he sees this puck cleanly. Don't think it actually makes it all the way into the net. Corks the guy in front but it gives you a good idea how you need to move your head around the screen and find the appropriate side of the screen at the right time. Great exhibition game, great result. Well, I hope you enjoyed these clips I had of Devin today, and it's a short sample size exhibition game because of COVID, but we learned some things about him. He does play a very similar style to Carey Price. He's super athletic, he takes care of the low net well, he's not a passive goalie married to the goal line, he's not locked in the RVH, down early, moving around, on his knees. Because of his height, he gains proper depth, not over-challenging, but not under-challenging. He's very good on his rebound control, very good at his technical game with respect to save selections. He looks off the puck well, reads the game well. I think he's gonna be a great pro. We'll see how he does in this tournament with all this pressure. And those would be the only two things that I have as concerns for him. How does he manage the pressure? And as he said, pressure is a privilege. So we're going to have the privilege of watching Levi play in the World Juniors. Let's go, Canada. Go! Go!